Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagley with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagley, and I'm once again playing the game Slay Away Camp, and I'm sorry that it's been a while since I've played this, guys. I said that at the beginning of every series that I do on this channel, but I'm very excited to be back just due to the fact that this game is so goddamn fun, and it's super goofy, and I love all the creative kills and everything in it. But anyway, so last episode we played as Mary the Killer Nurse, who I guess was from a movie called American Mary. I've never heard of it before, but apparently it's okay. You know, there's some, like, pretty positive reviews about it up there but they did like a partnership so that she was in this game which is really kind of cool and we killed a kid on life support it was the worst death in the entire series so far with all the sawings and halves and throwing people into wood chippers and shit like that unplugging a kid from life support made me kind of feel bad but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna explore slay away camp seven office hours and find out if this has an even more brutal kill waiting for us so let's go ahead and get started Whoa. That dude's got a huge axe. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're playing as a dude with a giant axe. Downsizer is his name. Yeah, he's going to need you to come in on Saturday or you'll get the axe. I have a feeling that, like, if you show up on Saturday, you're still going to get the axe from this guy, though. He doesn't look like he's ready to have a good time. It looks like he's he's kind of mean, actually. But let's go ahead. We'll play as crazy boss bosser man with the axe and kill everyone in the face. So avoid the electrical fences. So once again, it's adding more features uh, for me to try to, like, avoid here. So an electric fence sounds like it could probably be a huge hassle to us. So we're going to have to be really careful. It looks like this is a pretty simplistic level, though. So we're going to go up. We're going to kill this lady who's sleeping on the job. You should not be sleeping on the job. That's what you get for that, guys. That's just corporate America right there. I mean, if you sleep on the job, just expect to get an axe to the forehead. It's just how American business works. So let's go ahead. Let's escape the crime scene before anyone comes and tries to get us. And then we can use the paper cutter, the industrial paper cutter, to cut off this person's face. Oh, God. You know what? It feels like, uh, you know, since this is an office setting, we're probably killing adults now. We're probably not killing teens. I guess there's probably, like maybe teen interns or something like that, but I feel a little bit less, like, bad about killing adults. I don't know if that's hypocritical of me or anything, but that's just the way it's going right now. So we're going to have to avoid these electric fences. So the only way we can go is to the right. Scare her into that. Holy shit! And poof. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> and then we can't go up and we can't go to the left, so we got to go down, up, over here. Uh, let's see... Oh, and then we can turn off the... Oh, we can turn off the power. I see. So then we can kill this guy who's in the dark. He has no idea what's going to happen to him. Oh, God. He got eviscerated. And then we can go to the exit. Man, these are pretty easy puzzles so far, but I start off every single stage saying that. So I'm sure it's going to get harder and harder as it goes on. But this game's really, really fun. I love the idea of not being able to hit some of the walls. So office security. Ah, police officers. So we have to actually be careful of them. I don't know if there's a light switch or anything like that that we can use. Um, what's up with some of, some of these uh, office workers here don't have, like, faces, it looks like. Well, they do, but I guess they're sleeping. Okay, so there's the phone. So what happens if I... Ah, yes. Okay, so we can distract that person back over there. And then, what do we do? Do we want to kill her now that she's over here? I feel like we want to kill her. Because we didn't want her there blocking the way to the portal. Because that means that... Uh, no one would be able to get out, and by no one I mean me. I would not be able to get out if she was there. So, uh, because then the the police officers would get me. So, uh, if I go up here, oh, I could just kill the cops. I don't know why I didn't think of doing that before. They're both dead. I don't know if I needed them for anything. Now that I think about it, I don't think I can get out now. Shit. Okay, we're going to have to rewind and try again. Different approach here, guys. By the way, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit congested. I don't know if this is allergies or what the deal is, but it feels like I may be getting a little bit sick, which, you know, bums me out because I don't want to get sick. I don't want to. I want to keep making some cool, fun videos for you all. So uh, let's go ahead, though. Um, let's attract that guy over there first. And it looks like you can't help but attract both of them when you do this. Okay, so that's interesting. So we've attracted both guys... So now what happens? Can we can we go over here? We can do this. We can scare this guy up here. I don't know if that's going to do anything for me. Oh, okay. No, that will line me up with this dude then. And then I can kill the final guy. And then I should be able to just get on out of here, right? I think I can get on out of here. I hope. 
Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, and then these cops, we don't have to kill them ourselves. We don't have to get our hands dirty with their blood. Uh, so we can go ahead and just make them poof from Thor's thunder magic at the end of that level. So that wasn't that hard. It took a little bit of thinking, but it looked like I was able to get around all the things that were in the way. All right, so we can scare this uh, office worker over here up into the lights, which turns those off, which is good. So I have a feeling I don't want to kill her yet. But what I can do now is I can come around here. I can kill these people who are waiting in the dark, and then I can come around here, kill her, and then the lights are still off. Yes, 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 that's good. I want the lights to be off. Uh, that turns them back on. No, I don't want to turn back on the fences because they're bad for me. Ah, and then we can just... Wait, no, nope. no, nope, that's a dead end. God damn it. How do we get out of here? How do we get out of here? How do we get over to the place that I want to get to? Shit balls. I might have made a goof, guys. I might have messed up. Well, I guess I can uh, do... One last thing. One last resort. What am I doing? I don't have a last resort. I'm just messing. I'm just goofing. Let's just kill ourselves on the fence. See what happens. Oh, yeah, we just poof. Okay, so I'm going to try to find the solution here, guys, and you'll see me here in a second with that solution. Okay, guys, so this one actually got a little bit tricky, and I wasn't doing things in the right order as is usual. So first, we want to actually start off by going down and around here and scaring this guy over here. This will allow us to kill him, scare that lady into the corner. Now, that's going to set up our escape route the next time we decide to go and kill her and now we can go ahead we can kill this person up top who's gonna shut off the lights like we were starting the round off doing but that was the wrong order so now we've done her second now we can go kill this lady we left in the corner without touching any of the electrical fences and then get to the exit so it's not nearly as hard as I was setting it up to be but at the same time it's just figuring out those order of operations it's kind of like math in that way and I dig that so ugh, rip that guy's heart out <laughs> it's like bad enough if these are teens who are like unpaid interns but like the fact that their boss is coming in and murdering them still is uh you know not <laughs> not awesome for them it's probably the worst like paid or unpaid job ever all right so we only have one guy to kill but we only have 10 turns to get to the exit so how are we going to do this there's like a lot of office supplies in the way and shit okay so we can just kill them right off the bat i don't think that that's going to matter much right oh wait no Okay, I have a feeling we probably need their body to get out of here. Crap. Okay, let's start over. Let's try this again. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to scare this guy first, maybe. Is that what I want to do? Or do I want to come Do want to come around here to the top? No, because that traps me. Ah, shit balls. All right, I got trapped. So I think I have to, like, scare him into a strategic location, which is going to allow me to line him up with stuff. Yeah, okay, so we're going to do this. There we go. No. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on, Jim. If you want to get that raise, you're going to have to work for it, all right? It might kill you, but you're going to have to work for it, man. All right? So uh, let's go up. Nope, let's not go up. Let's go. Let's go over here. All right. So I don't want to scare Jim that way. Jim, where do I have to scare you, man? I think I have to scare him, like, so he goes up and he blocks off the exit, kind of. And that will allow me to, like, get back around to where I need to be. Jim, you're not being very helpful, man. That's all I can say. But I don't know how to, like, get... I don't know how to get over there. Alright. Uh, do I... Ugh, this is gonna take some thinking, guys. This is gonna be my last attempt on camera before I, I go in and I just try to figure out the solution myself. Oh, I know what to do. Okay, I see what the solution is. It's good that I just clicked around like a dingus because now I'm able to go over here and then go around... Scare Jim up this way, which will allow me to kill him. There we go. Those good old cubicle walls are blocking me so that I can get to the exit now. And then punch off someone's head because that's, you know, not going to be an issue with the HR board at the office or anything. Involuntary liquidation. Oh, gosh. Am I going to have to liquefy someone? That sounds pretty hardcore. All right. So there's some exits here. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to We don't want to scare them with the... With the stuff. Okay. Uh, we don't want to scare him out the exit is what I meant. Oh, shit. Or we can just blow ourselves up. That's fine. I'm a freaking idiot. All right. So what's a better way to do this? How, what's a better way to go about doing this? Oh, we can come in. All right. Let's come in from the side. Oh, yeah. Stab you through the head. Oh, rip your face off. You don't need that where you're going, which is hell. Which is, I, I mean, maybe they have some beauty, you know, stuff in hell. I, I don't know. I've never been there before. I'm sure it's a really really great nice place you know especially this time of year but we can go ahead we can kill that guy 
And then I think we can just get to the exit. Okay, that one wasn't as bad. That had like a lot of little gimmicks in it that looks like, uh, you know, it made it look like it was going to be like a lot harder to do than it was. But it sort of just psyched me out. Once again, those red herrings that the devs have put in. Oh man, another one where I got to solve it in X number of turns. Now we only have nine turns. That's even less than the last time. Shit. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's... Oh, you know what? I bet this phone is going to be for Mr. Copperoni. Unless... Wait a second. What happens if I just kill him? I can just kill the cop. It's not that bad. Scare that person in the landmine. Kill this guy. And then get out of here. Okay, what was the deal with that one? That one was super easy. I didn't even have to touch the phones. Once again, those red herrings. I'm on to you, devs. I'm a puzzle master at this point. I can spot these from a mile away. Executive execution. We're going to go ahead and use these short walls, it looks like, to mess with some people. All right, let's shove that guy up over there into the corner. God, that sounds weird to say. But uh, that's what we're going to be doing. And then we can... Now what can we do? Now what can we do? Uh, we can go all the way across here. Not get caught by this... Oh, man. Made him poof. Block that laser with her. Oh, very nice. Okay, I, I have a feeling I know... Oh, nope. I don't think I want to do that yet. But... What do I want to do here? Was I supposed to leave the... Ah, man. Maybe I was supposed to leave the laser blocked by the guy I electrified. Ah, shit. That sucks. Okay, so I think I need to restart this, guys. I'm going to look for the solution because this one looks like it's going to be a little bit more complicated and I don't want to waste too much time just looking for a solution on camera. I just want to show you guys the gory details, so I'll be right back. All right, so once again, I was completely being an overthinking dingus, and this one is not nearly as hard as I thought it was. So first, we're going to go ahead, we're going to scare this guy up into the corner like we were doing before, which will allow us to go around here and sneak by all these guards. I don't know how they don't see us, because technically we're just another regular dude who just happens to want to kill all of his employees like a psychopath, and we scare him into the electric fence, which scares her up against the other guy. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to scare this guy up above between the now, normally, that would be a bad idea because you're like, oh, shit, how do I get to the guy? But now we have this, you know, fresh, warm body to use as a blocking shield, which will allow us to go ahead, kill that person, and then poof all the cops. Get out of here, cops. I hate you. You're stupid, and nobody likes you, and you don't even have, you know, any sort of cool stuff. Your guns are dumb. Your armor's dumb. Your visors are dumb. Everything about you is dumb. It's dumb. God, I'm so dumb. Okay, back to a level with no turns, which is nice. I like that. I dig that. It looks like that will distract both cops. Ooh, that's very nice. I like that. We can go ahead. We can kill that coparoni. We can kill this person. And then we should be able to do something. Uh, can we, okay, no, we can only ring that phone. So is there a way to get to the other phone? I don't think there's a way to get to the other phone. We might have doinged up. We might have messed up here, guys, and by we, I mean me. So I think we have to, like, just kill that first cop without distracting the SWAT cop and having him go towards the phone. We can't have him uh, getting the phone. Oh, I know what to do. Oh, there we go. So we'll make him turn around. So he's stuck there like an idiot. And then we should be able to... No, that's not what I want to do. God damn it. That's exactly what I had done the first time. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's, uh, let's ring the phone. So he's facing that way. Then we should be able to just go up here, kill that girl, and then we should be able to... Crap, we can't get around because that, that cop's blocking the way. The regular cop's blocking the way now. All right, because, like, if we ring this, that's going to cause the SWAT team member's body to block us when we go up and around here because we need to kill that other team that's in the corner. Shit. This one's going to be another tough one, guys. I feel like this is another one I'm going to have to do off camera with you guys waiting with anticipation for the final answer which you guys will see here in one moment. So as I've established before I am exceptionally stupid and I wasn't looking at something that was incredibly obvious which is going to be the fact that that second teen that I normally kill or I guess the first teen that I killed the only teen I've been able to kill is someone that I don't have to kill from that angle so I can go ahead I can ring the phone which will allow me to kill the police officer which will open up the path this way which should let me go ahead and scare her over here, which isn't a big problem now, because now I can go ahead, kill her, scare that teen, ring this phone, 
which will then allow me to distract that SWAT team member again. Go up and around. God, please stop humping the back of that couch guy. Let's go ahead and kill her and then go straight to the exit and poof the SWAT team guy. So really, not that hard after all. Just me being stupid and overthinking things once again. There's a lot more red herrings in this one. Slay Away Camp 7 is actually kind of challenging, and I really dig that about it a lot. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to fly through the next few levels so we can get to the final level as fast as possible because I really don't see us, you know, needing that many, uh, you know, breaks in my solutions. I, I think I can find all these solutions pretty easy. I think I'm going to do awesome with it. So let's go ahead. Uh, how do we get that person down there, though? That's going to be the big issue. That's going to be the big iffy. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, that's easy. See, nice and easy. We'll kill that guy. We'll kill that. And now we can't get to the exit because I killed that first guy. Shit, I'm supposed to scare them all down there. Damn it. Okay, so this one's not nearly as hard as I was making it the first time I attempted it. All we have to do is go around here, scare these people down below, which shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Uh, let's see here. How am I supposed to do that, though? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Move up here. Scare him down that way. So now he's scared down there. And then I can go ahead and... Get down there as well. Scare him into the corner so he's not going to be an issue. He's going to actually allow us to have a nice, clean getaway. We'll be able to escape this stupid, rigorous, awful office environment that we have been enslaved to for so long. And now we can go down here. We can scare this guy into the corner, which will allow us to kill him and her who's hiding in the cubicle and then kill this last guy and then jump right into the portal boom out of there not too hard guys that one wasn't too bad i actually like that one a lot i like the way that you could set up that kill all right this one's another timed one supervisor slaughter oh man i like that there's a big old poster of me in the corner that says think harder you know what i am doing my damnedest game devs i'm thinking with a lot of brain power right now so don't insult me okay i'm beating your game it's gonna happen okay so clearly the solution is going to have to do with turning off the power. So I think what I should be able to do, by the way, that one guy in the right side of the screen, he, he looks pretty chipper there for a guy who has a SWAT team's laser gun pointed right at him, like the, the sight for his freaking machine gun is pointed right at that kid's heart. Anyway, let's go ahead. I, I guess we, I never said that my interns were smart, guys, okay? That's just something. Uh, let's go ahead, let's turn off the lights here, which should allow us to... I, I can just go in here, right? I can just kill these SWAT team guys, which will get rid of that guy. Uh, allow me to kill him, right? Stab him in the face? Oh, God, yep, we stabbed him in the face indeed. And then we only have three turns. Shit. I don't know if I did this right, guys. In fact, I think I did this very wrong. But there's going to be a solution, and I'm going to find it, and you guys are going to see it here momentarily. God damn it. All right, so this one actually wasn't as hard to figure out as I thought it was going to be. You go over here, you turn off the power first, and then you go over into the corner, kill these teens, both of them, one after another. Oh, cleaved right in the chest. Yeah, you're dead. Go down here to the bottom of the screen, kill this cop, which will allow me to go ahead up here, kill this teen, and then we got two turns left, and we can just go straight to the portal and zap that cop. Not a big issue at all. And then we get to hit that last teen in the head with a big old spike bat, because, you know, that that meets the work dress code. You can bring in a spike bat if you want on Fridays. It's casual Fridays. Are you kidding me? Come on, don't add these kitties in here. They didn't do anything, man. All right, well, let's go ahead. Let's zap that person. You're poofed. And then zap, kill this person. You're dead. And then I can turn off the lights. And now, unfortunately, I know the cats can still see me. So they're still going to get freaked out by stuff. But they shouldn't die. Yeah, they... they okay, so he doesn't die because uh, that fence is off. So we can just go ahead and escape. And the kitties are safe. Everyone's happy now. That was a nice, easy one. I, it's really nice, like I said before, that the devs put all these easy levels in between the really hard ones because it keeps you going. It keeps the momentum up. It doesn't just, like, completely break your spirit. It's like, ah, I'm so stupid. But we're going to go ahead. It looks like uh, there's a whole bunch of people who might escape if we do this wrong. So what should we do here? Uh, can we just do this and kill kill her? Get uh, get over in here? Yeah, kill, kill dead? And then, oh, there's one one last guy. He has a he has a wall, actually. Shit, I didn't notice he had a wall blocking him. So we actually need, uh, to get out of this corner, we actually need one of those employees, I think, to, to hit that landmine. 
Shit, okay. Well, I'm gonna retry this, guys, and show you guys how to be a true master at this level. Alright, guys, I, for the life of me, cannot solve this one. There's so many things going on in it with, like, the filing cabinets and the little landmine and the escapes and stuff, and I've tried, like, 15 different ways to try to solve this freaking thing, and I cannot do it, so I'm gonna bitch out, and I'm gonna use my hint and uh, just pay a little bit of coin so that we can fast forward to the solution. Uh, be careful about knocking those file cabinets over. You might need them first. What do you mean first? I mean, I've tried some of the things where I've blocked the exits with the filing cabinets. I've tried to squish people with the filing cabinets. I'm not really sure if I can do that. So I'm gonna go ahead, a meager 10, or a meager 100 coins is going to allow me to save myself a headache, so we're gonna do that. So I started off doing that for a while. That was like one of my top solutions, was scaring those guys in the mine, all right? Knock the uh, filing cabinet over, scare her up that way. Oh, and then block the exit. And then you're right there. I see. Okay. Well, thank you, game. That made it look really easy and made me feel really stupid, but I think I can pull that off. So let's see if we can replicate that. So once again, I had already started doing a little bit of this, scaring her over there, killing this guy so it scared that dude into the landmine, which will then allow me to go up and down and around here. Now, first, what we want to do is block the exit with that thing, and then we can go ahead, scare her by pushing that over, and then... Oh, wait, I think I did that opposite. I think I did that opposite because, yeah, we need her body to go up. So I got to go back a couple turns to when I knock that over. I don't want to knock that over first. I want to knock this one over first, scare her over there, and then use that so that I can knock that over, scare her up above. Boom, you're dead, and then we're right next to the portal. I was trying to do something way more complicated than that, and once again, I was just overthinking the solution. But we're going to go ahead and get a very gratuitous kill to make up for the fact that I was being stupid. So maximum security is the final scene. We're going to be able to beat this VHS in this episode as well. Man, it's a lot of guys. That's a lot of SWAT team members. So let's go ahead and turn off that. We can go kill that dude. No one knows. No one knows that I've killed him. Yes, that's fine. I can kill him. And then I think I, you know what? I think I needed this guy to run up top. So yeah, I think I needed him to see me. So that's going to blow up that guy with a landmine. But then I should be able to still, I can still come over here, turn those back on if I want. Oh, wait, but then I get caught up here in the corner. Then I get caught in the corner when there's this horrible horrible electric fence in the way so I don't want to do that so this one's gonna probably take some thinking guys because there's a lot of shit going on in this one as well but I will be right back guys with the solution and you will get to see the final kill in Slay Away Camp 7 all right guys I have no idea why I haven't been using this overhead mode but it's so freaking helpful so first off what we want to do is go over here turn off the lights kill this security guard so he's dead now so we don't have to worry about him but then we want to turn the lights back on because what we want to do is actually uh, ring that phone blow up that cop because he's gonna run into that landmine over on the right side of the board but then we can go over here kill this cop which is gonna scare that teen now this is gonna allow us to go up here to the top scare that teen through the wall by killing that other guy and then she's wide out in the open there we're gonna go ahead we're gonna leave the lights off this time as we go all the way over here to kill this SWAT team member so that we actually have an escape plan. Now we're going to go ahead and turn those lights back on and then we can probably zoom in now. We should probably be able to zoom in which will allow us to go up here, kill that guy or kill that teen, whoever that was, or office worker, turn that phone on so that that distracts the, uh, the SWAT team guy, come back all the way around, turn the lights off again, kill this dude, and then finally turn the lights back on so we have a nice little uh, electric fence and we're lined up for the final kill guys this is the final kill of slay away camp seven let's do this and then i think we throw them probably into the the fax machine here oh god yeah that's exactly what we do oh god we're gonna make copies of their bloody corpse <laughs> out of order yeah indeed that's their smushed up face we managed to kill them all as this crazy disgruntled boss who i don't know why you're killing your own company guy because now like who's gonna work for you who's gonna make your shit who's gonna run your business whatever i don't know i guess you probably lined your pockets or something but now we've unlocked slay away camp 8 
which is uh, Manhattan Manslaughter. And it looks like, what is that, a giant hot dog that we're going to play as next? I have no idea. We can go ahead, we can go to the shop, though, and just like every single other time, I'm able to unlock some more killers, guys. We have enough for two killers this time. Just for sticking with me this entire episode, I know is a little bit longer. Thank you guys for staying with me here. You'll be able to see two killers, two mystery unboxings. We got D20 Skullface. He's a 12th level fighter with 1800 strength, immune to magic missiles. He's going to get early renaissance on your ass. Okay, awesome. So he's the new one, and then we get one more here. Let's see who we can unlock. Is it going to let me buy it? Oh, okay, there we go. I thought I clicked on the box. I guess it didn't work. Zombie Guitar Guy. Friendship was not the answer. Friendship was not the key. So this was the guy that we killed all the way back. I think it was like in the first or second level where we killed him with his own guitar. And he's come back as a zombie and we get to play him to kill all of his friends and other future teens. So that's going to be it for this episode of Slayaway Camp, guys. Once again, thank you for sticking with me if you made it to the end of this extra long episode with all these crazy solutions. I like the addition of the electric fences. I like the addition of all the extra stuff that they add to this game. It's constantly evolving. They're constantly adding new levels. They're constantly adding new mechanics, and that's really, really cool. It keeps the game fresh and really fun for me to play through. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video in favor of it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye.